Now, if you've dreamed of becoming a football player but think you may be a bit past it, then think again. Players of all ages in Glasgow are being trained to a professional standard by an experienced player and manager. Sky's James Matthews reports. Yes, OK, we asked them to do that. But what makes the difference between the amateur and the professional football player? The man to ask is right here. On away! Ian McCall played for Rangers, amongst others, and has managed in the Scottish Premier League. Between management jobs, he's tapping into a huge market, offering professional coaching classes to the legions of AstroTurf amateurs. So where do they go wrong? They go to drinking on Friday night. <laughs> other than that, I think they try and they play football in straight lines all the time. They're very, very, they're very unaware of of where space is. I mean, I, there's an, there's an awful lot of really good amateur players. I've got to say that, but you know, you, you you'll see them playing that way and without being aware of what's over there. What can the professional do with a ball on a pitch? That the amateur perhaps can. One basic thing I think they can pass the ball more accurately and their ability to concentrate better for longer periods is far, far superior. The Ian McCall method challenges the norm for most players of the beautiful game. That if you ever did get any coaching, it ended in the late teens. So what can amateurs learn from this pro? Here's a taste. Yes, check. There, that's in at your feet. You're not going to be able to move the ball either side. Better touch. More professional touch, and professional players touch, is you take it across yourself and you create space for yourself. Full backs in, marking reasonably tight. Ball's over here, you're trying to get the ball, so you basically run him away. And you're running here, as soon as he sees the ball, you come straight back out, yes! And then you've created four or five yards to go and get at your man. This is just about creating space for yourself without going in the obvious angle for a one-two. So we'll just run through it. Yep. 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 This coaching is open to everyone of all ages. So it isn't just a lesson in where it all went wrong, but tuition and where it might yet go right. James Matthews, Sky News, Glasgow. Certainly dedicated, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, Matt's here, uh, as you can see. And also, Ian joins us uh, live from Glasgow to talk about it. Well done uh, on this. And it is popular, I see. It is, yeah. I, whether it'll be after I've just slaughtered every amateur player in Scotland, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, we've got a lot of people coming to classes. It's it's to do with fitness as well. I mean, Ian, it's Matt here in the studio. Nice to talk to you. How much of the skills that we saw on that piece there can be taught, and how much do you just have to have the talent in you to begin with? Well, I think a lot a lot of it can be taught. It's how much can be taken on board. You know, and I, I think the key to it all is that having spoke to a lot of amateur players, a lot of the ones I, I work with, it, just because they're amateur doesn't mean necessarily they don't want to improve. They do want to improve. I mean, I, I think they do have basic skills, uh, but, you know, some of the stuff we do there, you know, in terms of it would take them a good while uh, to get the hang of that, uh, you know, with, with professional players, or certainly the better professional players, there's a distinction there because not all professional players are, are really good, but they take that on board very, very quickly. I mean, being a professional player does involve a lot of hard work. The training is, is daily, the dedication, uh, I know they're paid a lot as well, but the dedication has to be there. And maybe that's the difference between those budding amateurs that because everybody's got a day job, they, they haven't got the time to give to it. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's absolutely true. I mean, I mean, the days of uh, professional players just training once a day are long gone. I mean, you're usually training morning and afternoon now. You know, amateur players don't have that. But, you know, you have part-time footballers, professional players in Scotland who, who combine, you know, jobs with, with hard training at night time a couple of times a week. You know, in Scandinavia, I played and coached in Iceland. The part-time players there, they, they train four or five nights a week as well as day jobs. So, I mean, you can be dedicated without being a professional. There's no doubt about that. I guess the armchair fan, though, Ian, would say, but it's fine for them. Like you say, they can train all day, every day if they want to. They've got the best facilities. Is it as simple as going to a park with a ball and practicing? Is that as much as it takes? Well, you know, at times, yes. I mean, unfortunately, there's not as many parts in Glasgow and in Scotland as there used to be, you know, and there's not as many football pitches here now. But, 
you know, I, I remember Jim McLean years ago at Dundee United. Andy Gray couldn't kick the ball with his with his with his left foot. Had him out against a wall half an hour every day, just kicking the ball against the, the wall with his left foot. I had a young kid the other night. I take kids football here at the Western Bass, trying to teach them how to use their left foot. And all that is is repetitive. It's just repetition all the time, just doing it, doing it, doing it. And eventually, you'll get a bit better. You may never be totally natural, but you'll definitely get better. This is asked from a personal point of view, really, Ian. Are there unteachable people, or is there hope for all of us? Sorry, say that again? Uh, is there, are there unteachable people? I mean, somebody like me, for example, can you turn anybody into a better player? <laughs> well, I don't know your level, but well, say, listen, there's, there's five or six guys playing just now inside the Western Bass who I take for, for, for football. And, Every single one of them says there has been an improvement in them. Now, listen, that could be a minuscule improvement, but for them, at their level, that, that, that makes them really, really happy. I've got a guy that comes to a class on a Sunday called Brian, and he's improved. Tom Maguire, a guy that comes to my class, has improved immeasurably, trying to get Tom to actually slow down in a football pitch without doing things at a million miles an hour is a nightmare. But he, he does now, and he, and he moves better, he moves in, at different angles now, so you can improve, and it's, all a, it's a relative thing, isn't it, improvement? It is. It's all relative. Uh, there is hope. Ian, thanks for talking to us today. Good luck with the scheme. Thank you very much. Th thanks a lot. Thank you. Now, this week marks the 200th anniversary of the birth of Charles Dickens. And to mark the occasion, London will host a stage version of the classic.